Where is everybody? I used to have friends I'd see and talk to all the time, but now I feel lonely and abandoned. How can I connect with people again? When changes take place in our lives, we often lose sight of who our friends are and how we can connect to the new people who show up in our world. How can we build up our support system so we don't feel so alone? Hi, I'm Shelley Carney, Personal Development Life Coach, and I believe knowing what support you need and where you can find it will provide the security you need to grow during times of disruption and change. Over the past year, we've all come to discover whether we have built a strong support system for ourselves. When we go to work or to the gym, the kids' school, or other places we visit every day and run into the same people, it's easy to have daily conversations and find support and encouragement along the way. But when we end up working from home and hardly ever go out anymore, it becomes more of a challenge to connect with others and enjoy those interactions. We miss those moments that provided a break from our own treadmill of thoughts. So who do we turn to now? Who's going to support us when we need advice, encouragement, or friendship? Look again at the 10 habits of financially successful people and check out the number one habit, being around positive people. It's time we take this habit into our own hands and instead of waiting to run into people throughout the day, seek out positive people and decide how we can interact with them. Start by making a list of the important people in your life that offer you support, encouragement, advice, and actively listen to you. My list includes my husband, my mom, my kids, and my business partner, Toby. Next, list the people who inspire and motivate you. They don't have to be your personal friends. They can be authors, podcasters, coaches, or mentors. I'll add those people who coach and inspire me to my list. There's my business coaches, Jim and Lucas, my personal development coaches, Brendan Burchard and all the Growth Day coaches, my favorite podcaster, James Wedmore, and the author of the book I'm currently reading, Believe It, Jamie Kern Lima. The next set of things to add to our list are those that are inspirational and bring us joy especially personal self-care like meditation, singing, motivational videos, podcasts, books, affirmations, exercise, nature hikes, and hobbies. Write the things you love to do that lift you up. As you list them, ask yourself, do I make time to do these every day? Here's my list. Meditation, exercise, podcasts, reading, listening to music, and my morning cup of coffee. Our list is not complete until we have discovered how we can best connect to new people who come into our lives. How do you build relationships with people you meet online? Perhaps you're in a Facebook group and notice somebody posting who has ideas similar to yours or offers help when you ask for advice. That's a great opportunity to chat online and maybe even set up a Zoom or phone call or when you watch helpful videos from a coach or consultant like me, send an email with a question or request for more information. Make a list of those people you want to reach out to on social media or through email, and then schedule a block of time on your calendar once or twice each week where you will focus on building your network of support. I've reached out on social media to join a weekly group Zoom call with ladies who get together to chat every Friday morning. I've also joined Lunch Club to have a weekly online meetup with a new person every Thursday. Once you start looking for these opportunities, you'll find them everywhere. Post your list where you can see it every day. Add to it or change it when your life situations and relationships change. Seeing this list will remind you that you are not alone. You are seen, heard, and loved. You matter. You are connected to the world around you, and you belong. When it's time to make changes in your life, or when change is thrust upon you, refer to your list and make use of the support system it represents. 
Challenge yourself to add to your support system a little each day, and before you know it, encouragement and love will surround you, no matter what changes may come to your way. Having the courage to make life changes comes from taking small steps and leaning on a strong support system. Jim Rohn said, inspiration from whatever the source arouses feelings within us that rekindle hope, ambition, and determination. It is a momentary whisper of encouragement and reassurance that causes us to become aware of our potential. Take a small step today and write out your list of supporters. Then begin to contact the important people in your life and thank them for their encouragement. Oh, and by the way, thank you for being here to encourage me. I appreciate you. Please subscribe to my channel, watch my videos, and write to me as a part of your support system. Remember that your support network is the solid ground from which you can propel yourself upward. Post your comments and questions and I'll respond and come back next week for a new video. You can get my free downloadable ebook, The Courage to Change, using the link in the description box of this video. In this ebook, you'll discover how you can reduce the fear that holds you back, open up to new experiences, enjoy the journey to your best life, and become enthusiastic about your future.